Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of uh, inside work on walking Dagny uh, on it because she's a big dog and she's not listen does not listen very well on the leash. So when you're walking, I have a couple rules for a walk. A lot of people pull the dog into position like this. Mm -hmm. The problem is she's a bigger dog than I am. So if I want sit again, whenever she sits, try to pet her immediately and say sit. So um, if I'm walking her and I want to stop. What I do is I usually hold the leash like this, and as I, when I'm coming up to stop, I run my hand down the leash. This is kind of a warning to the dog, and sometimes I also dip at my knees when I'm about to stop. These are indicators that help the dog understand that. Um, Dagny, sit. Whenever you're out walking in the neighborhood and you stop and talk to a neighbor, always stop and ask, ask your dog to sit first, then continue your conversation. Dogs get in trouble if they're standing, they're like looking for something to do next. This is something for her to do. Um, now I have three rules for what I call a structured walk. Rule number one is stay in your position. So if she's supposed to be on my left, I want her shoulder aligned with my hip. If her torso gets in front of me, that's when I want to correct. If I let her get too far in front and I try to pull her back, she's just going to pull. It's a tug of war. It's no fun. So what a lot of people do, like I mentioned earlier, is they pull the dog in position. So I'm going to hold it here so I'm not adjusting her because she's not doing anything wrong. But when she's doing something I don't want, I'm going to pop it and then immediately relax it. I call this a hanging J because it looks like the letter J. So when you're walking, you should have a dip like this kind of between you and the dog. Um, the idea is you want the dog basically walking almost at a loose leash. So if she starts getting into trouble, if you're using a regular collar, when you, you want to correct, you jerk it to the side. If you're using a martingale collar, I'm going to see if I have one in the car, uh, I, you want to go directly up and up and then relax it real, right away. Now a li another little trick I have is she's not paying attention, I ask her to sit, she doesn't sit, sit. I'll use this foot and I'm going to tap her, sit, sit. Always reward immediately after you put her in a sit. But sitting, even though she knows how to sit, her sit is okay when she wants to in the house. It's not very good outside. And the more you practice it, the faster she just gets into it. Um, so rule number one, stay in your position here. Sit, sit. I generally don't like pushing, sit. Uh, number two, uh, I don't let the dog stop and sniff. If she stops and I stop when on the walk, then she controlled me. Uh, and uh, for being in position, for rule number one, if she's in front of you, she's going to be more reactive to dogs around you. So always keep her next to you or slightly behind you. And rule number three that I have usually is just for male dogs. I don't let them mark. Does she mark? No. She pee a little bit in a lot of places? Not too much. Okay. So generally I let them pee when we're at home and then when we're on the walk, I don't let them pee. She can sniff as long as she's walking for rule number two, but she can't stop and sniff. Dog's nose controls 60% of their brain. So if she's sniff, stopping and sniffing, you'd be holding up a T-bone. She can't pay attention if she wants. Now one of the things that, uh, that you can do to teach a dog to heal is to do it in a controlled setting. So I'm using a spoon here with peanut butter on it. So what I'm going to do is uh, dagging. There we go. So now, um, let me go up to Dagny. Heel. Dagny. There we go. Heel. So this lets me put her in the heel position, provide something good happening to her <coughs> while we're walking. And again, you have really, really good peanut butter here. It's a little bit runny. When you get the other stuff that's a little drier, you won't have to worry about getting on the on the floor. But this is a good thing you can do. I would start out doing it in the house, maybe walk around the work island, walk through, you know, around, and just get her used to walking. And every time she's licking it, when she's in the heel, you say, heel. What a lot of people do is when they're walking the dog and it gets out of a heel, they jerk the leash and say, heel. What they're intending to say is get back into a heel. But to a dog, that's really the opposite of what you're trying to accomplish. So while she's in the heel position, she's feeling good, and she gets some, uh, some of the tasty reinforcer, the peanut butter, at the same time we say, heel. That connects. If I'm here, I get the peanut butter. I get the good thing happening. Uh, so I'd practice this inside of the house for a while. Then I would do it outside in your backyard so that if she does is distracted or stops, there's no danger with anything. So if she gets out of heel, what do I do or say to get so her then back? I, then you can use, so if she gets, if she gets if she's too far in front, you can use this. I usually like to do kind of a circle. So I go back here and then get her to turn, sit. Heel. Now, if you don't want her to sit, then you can just put her, but I kind of do this sort of emotion and get the dog kind of walking around here. Mm -hmm. So they turn around. And again, a lot of people just manipulate their dog. She's so big, the girls can't do that. So we always want the dog to do the work. 
but she, <laughs> she's got peanut butter mouth now. Um, but you know, peanut butter is a good motivator. Some people will just hold a treat or a hot dog and let them have little chunks of the hot dog. Peanut butter is better because it's a little lick as opposed to stopping. Sometimes they'll stop and chew it up. Um, so we're gonna go, we'll go for a little bit of a walkout and about, but um, why don't we switch positions? Mm -hmm. uh, and let me try to do that. So we're just gonna walk maybe around. Uh, maybe why don't we walk into the foyer all the way through the dining room back? Okay. So. Oh, you know I need to stop on that. Thing. Oh. I thought you did. No, that's fine. Um,